Let's take a look at where we're going to end up. In this step, we're going to release the launcher. The ball is going to go up. It's going to come down. It's going to trigger the score. This is obviously not perfect, but it is a little bit more fun because you get a little bit of skill level. You can see I've moved the buckets closer together, so it should hit one, not land between them. I'm going to run it one more time. And depending on how long you hold the lever, it dictates how high it's going to bounce and what score you're going to get. Now I want to show you this because there's some ways you can play with this to make it a little bit more fun and you can play with the trajectory. So what I've done is I've added a mouse up which simply sets down to false and it all gets interesting right about here. If down is false and start game is true and frame count is less than five, that's my new variable frame count which I start at zero then while it's the frame counts less than five, as soon as I release that launcher, it will bring the launcher back up to the top and the ball back up to the top. So that's going to do that during five frames. Else, if down is false and start game is true, if the frame counts less than, <coughs> I'm sorry, if the frame count is greater than four, so five would be greater than four, and it's less than 23 and launch e launched equals true, then the ball is going to move forward at a pixel count of 5 going up and 6 going across. And we can change these numbers. You've already seen it play once. Let's change it to 8. So if it divides it by a higher number, it won't shoot as high. So you can play with these numbers and you can also play with the frame count to make the frame count smaller so it doesn't have as much time to work in. Um, then in the end we have frame count greater than 22 and the Y location less than 275. So when it hits 275 it's going to stop no matter what. But again you can change how fast it drops. If we increase this we'll make it drop faster if we divide it by a lower number. And you'll see that it will drop significantly faster this time. So go ahead and do that to your bean bag toss. I want you to have some sort of launcher for the three bean bags and figure out how to launch them and then you can just play with the tra trajectory there. I will put this code up on the web page so that you can read all the code and compare.